In this fourth and final video in our series of tutorials on using ForeFlight, delivered by Flight Insight, we're putting all our knowledge together and showing you how to build an actual flight plan. We're in Lynchburg, Virginia, planning a flight to the west over the Appalachian Mountains. For this tutorial, we're using the aeronautical map. If we pull up the drawer on the left, we'll select the airports and terrain overlays. Let's start by tapping the FPL flight plan button. On the left side, we can configure our aircraft and performance settings. We'll start by selecting the aircraft we set up in the previous video, which automatically applies the default performance profile. Then, we could begin building our route. We're starting out from Lynchburg. With the aeronautical map layer enabled, we can tap on the airport to bring up its details, then tap Add to Route near the top to add it to the flight plan. To see another way we can add airports to our route, let's add our destination, Wendell Ford Field in Kentucky, by tapping the empty space in the flight plan editor and typing out KCPF, followed by return. With an initial route created, we now get performance calculations at the bottom based on our aircraft performance. We see it's a straight line distance of just under 200 nautical miles. The headwind is calculated for us based on the aircraft's default cruise altitude of 6,000 feet but we could tap on the altitude button in the lower left to compare all possible altitudes and the expected headwinds, flight time, and fuel burn for each. For IFR flights, we can use the procedure advisor in the top right to include departure, arrival, and approach procedures into the flight plan. We can also use the route advisor just below it to choose an IFR routing based on suggestions or previously cleared routes. But on this VFR flight, we'll set up our route a bit more informally. Let's say we want to avoid the highest terrain by flying a bit to the north of a direct route. We can use the rubber band feature by tap and holding the route and dragging it up. A dropdown of suggested waypoints nearby where we drag to will come up. We can choose one and it'll populate into our route. If we tap nav log, we see a point by point breakdown of each leg of the route, including distance and time remaining for in-flight usage. Tapping profile gives us a side view of the route, showing terrain clearance at the altitude selected and any airspace along the way. If we tap and hold in two places on the map, it'll bring up the ruler. This allows us to preview the terrain and airspace picture between the two selected points, as well as have performance and distance information for them. On the ground, the performance is based on the aircraft profile we set up. In flight, the actual GPS data is used to calculate time and route between the points. We talked about the pack feature in the last video. We're going to tap the suitcase icon and then tap pack. This will download charts and data for our flight in a corridor of 25 miles on either side of the route. One of the features downloaded is a 3D view of the airports. We can have a look around our destination, which lets us go beyond information on the sectional or on the chart supplement to get a real sense of obstacles and geographic features around the airport so we know what to expect on arrival. Tapping the send button allows us to send the flight information to a number of places, such as flights, where we can round out our flight plan with weight and balance calculations, take off and landing distances, generate a complete pre-flight briefing, and file our flight plan with ATC. We've now taken everything we've learned over the past four videos and gotten ourselves ready for a full flight with ForeFlight Mobile, but there's so much more in ForeFlight to discover, and you can learn more using the Discover tab. If we tap more on the bottom menu and discover, we can access a library of information and training. There's also the support tab on the more menu with links to ForeFlight's online support center, pilot's guide, and other great resources. Check out what's new on the discover tab to stay up to date on new releases and other info. Also, you could check out the Flight Insight YouTube channel as we're always incorporating ForeFlight into our training videos. Follow ForeFlight on social media to learn about new features as they come out and visit the What's New section in the Discover tab to keep 